I was born two and a half years before Roe v. Wade, the landmark decision um, that made abortion legal. And when I was, uh, so I was adopted into a loving and wonderful home and uh, raised always knowing that I was adopted. It was always just told to me from the time I was little. And so I have always appreciated um, the gift that my mother gave me of life and uh, the family that God blessed me with. And when I was about 18, I decided to search. I wanted to find my biological mother. Well, the farthest I got was my maternal grandmother and she was very angry at being found. I knew that my the circumstances surrounding my birth were secretive. My mother had moved up here from the South to have me. So just from the non-identifying information that I was given, I knew that it wasn't a happy thing for my, my grandmother to, to find out that I had contacted or found her. And so she told the social worker that um, I was the result of a date rape and that she wished that I would have been aborted. So it was very um, hard to hear that. I, I was very almost disappointed that the social worker shared that with me, but I was very persistent and I really wanted to know the facts surrounding my birth and my birth mother. So, um, you know, I just came to terms with it, knowing that I'm a gift and that, um, that my existence is a blessing and that um, my mother did choose to give me life. Um, so then here about three years ago, I had the opportunity to share my story and I uh, was blessed with the connection that was made between my, my friend Ashley and to learn that Ashley's um, conception and birth of her son was the result of a rape, was um, a connection I had never had before with anyone. And so we have become friends and I was able to mentor her and to um, help her as a young mother and to love on her darling baby boy, Jaden, who's now three. And we just developed a really neat relationship and um, just very thankful that God had given me this opportunity. So although I've never had closure uh, meeting my mother or my maternal grandmother, um, I have been able to come to terms with learning about the circumstances surrounding my conception through prayer and my faith. And I do believe that it was no coincidence that God led me to my friend Ashley, who I have um, just been really blessed to know and to care for and through helping her in her journey with Jaden, I, I believe really, I really do believe that it has been a healing process for me to be able to have the relationship and have that connection with someone who, um, as my mother did, went through um, just a terrible situation, but that resulted in life. And so I'm very thankful that I've had that opportunity. I chose to rent a room from someone that I had known previously from living in New York and I stayed with him for about three days and things started to change and um, I was walking home from work one day and a man approached me and was talking really strangely and ended up hitting me and pushing me into a car and took me to his house and all my belongings were there. I later found out that I was sold to a pimp from the person I was renting a room from. Um, I was with that person for a little over a month and I was beaten every day. And I eventually got away to only be caught by someone that he knew, which was also another pimp. And I stayed with him for a little over a month and I wouldn't prostitute myself for him. So he eventually raped me and I got away and I stayed with some friends for a while. Um, I went to the hospital to get tested to make sure that I was clean, but I didn't tell anyone that I was raped. I didn't go to the police or anything. And um, I just wanted to go on living my life. And about four months later, I found out that I was pregnant. When I found out that I was pregnant, my first thought was, I can't have this child, not this way. Um, I just can't do this. and. Later that day, the more I sat and I thought about it, you know, I realized that it's not the child's fault, it wasn't my fault, and I didn't want to kill my baby, so I chose to keep my baby, and he's now three years old. I don't believe that abortion is right in any case because 
I went through rape and I went through my pregnancy and I got through it. And I believe that if I would have had an abortion, I would be more scarred and more hurt now than I would have choosing life. My son is a blessing. My son is an awesome child. I couldn't ask for a better son. And it wasn't his fault how he was created and it wasn't my fault how he was created. So why does the child have to be punished with death because of someone else's poor decision? I just think that it's an ignorant answer to a temporary problem. It's a permanent answer to a temporary problem. You know, once you, ch you kill your child, you can never bring your child back. You can never erase that pain. Whereas if you have your child, you can always choose adoption and go to counseling and overcome the obstacle that you received. My child is now three years old. And when I look at him, to be completely honest, there's days that I don't even remember how he was created. I don't think about it. There's weeks, months that go by that I don't think about it and it doesn't bother me. I look at my son that, like he's my son and I love him and I wouldn't change him for the world. I don't think rape is an exception in any case. I think that a child deserves to live. At four weeks, a child might only be three fourths of an inch long, but it has arms, legs, fingers, toes, eyes, and a heartbeat. And it can feel pain and it deserves to live.